10 hand-drawn maps produced just after the Spanish Armada campaign of 1588 have been privately bought, but an export ban has been imposed by the British government in a bid to raise £600,000 to keep the maps in a British institution. The maps are a set of 10 ink and watercolour drawings of the progress and defeat of the Spanish Armada. They were made around 1589. The Spanish Armada was an attempt by Philip II of Spain to invade Elizabeth I England in 1588. The Spanish intended to sail their fleet up the Channel and meet up with a Spanish army encamped in Dunkirk. They would then embark the troops and invade England. Map 1. Friday the 29th of July. The Armada is sighted off the Lizard. The Spanish fleet consists of 138 ships and over 24,000 men. They are shown here in pre-battle formation as a circular clump. They are spotted by the Golden Hind, an English scout ship. She is shown firing her warning signal towards Plymouth. Meanwhile, a Spanish ship breaks off from the Armada and captures an English fishing boat off Godman Point. Map 2. Saturday the 30th of July to 9am on Sunday the 31st of July. The first engagement. The Armada is now in a crescent-shaped battle formation, the vulnerable troop ships in the centre, the fast warships on the wings. The English fleet are shown leaving Plymouth and following a zigzag course before regrouping to the west of the Armada. A small English ship called the Disdain is shown firing the opening shot of the battle. Map 3, Sunday the 31st of July, the skirmish of Plymouth. The Spanish and English are shown fighting. The battle lasted four hours. Later on, a Spanish flagship becomes damaged in a collision. She is left behind with four guard ships. Against orders, Francis Drake in the Revenge leaves his position in the English fleet to capture her. Meanwhile, an explosion severely damages a large Spanish warship, the San Salvador. The Armada by now has lost its distinctive crescent-shaped formation. Map 4, Sunday the 31st of July to Monday the 1st of August. The capture of the Rosario. The Armada is pursued east. Drake is left behind as he captures the Rosario. Debris from the damaged Spanish ships floats in the sea. The Armada regains its formation and is pursued eastwards. Map 5. Monday the 1st of August to Tuesday the 2nd of August. The capture of the San Salvador and the engagement near Portland Bill. The San Salvador is now burning freely and set adrift. She is captured by the English. Reinforcements join the English fleet from various ports, including Torbay, Dartmouth and Exmouth. Battle is rejoined off Portland in two separate combats. Map 6. Tuesday the 2nd of August to Wednesday the 3rd of August. Engagement of the fleets between Portland Bill and the Isle of Wight. The battle rages off Portland Bill. The English fleet is split with a small group attacking the right flank of the Armada. The following day, the Armada once again retains its crescent formation. The English split into four distinct squadrons to make it easier to respond with speed. Map 7. Thursday the 4th of August. The battle off the Isle of Wight. The English launch a new attack, but the light winds and calm sea force them to use rowing boats to pull their ships towards the Spanish. Drake harasses the southern wing, trying to drive the Spanish northwards into dangerous and shallow waters. Map 8. Friday the 5th of August to Saturday the 6th of August. The pursuit to Calais. Battle calms as both sides preserve ammunition and repair. The Spanish still retain their formation. More reinforcements come from English ports. The Spanish head for Calais and anchor. Map 9, Sunday the 7th of August, the fireship attack. 
more reinforcements sail from Dover. The English wait until night and then launch eight fire ships. The Spanish raise anchor and most successfully manoeuvre out of danger and reform. Map 10, Monday the 8th of August. The Battle of Gravelines. One large Spanish galleass runs aground just off Calais and is attacked. The guns of Calais fire at the attacking English. Three Spanish ships ablaze run aground near Dunkirk. The English fleet falls on the Spanish, focused on the flagship of the Spanish commander, Medina Sidonia. The Spanish are shown in significant distress. One ship is shown sinking, more heading towards the dangerous Flemish sandbanks. And yet the Spanish still retain their formation. But a sudden change in the wind direction to west-southwest pushes the Armada away from the shore and out towards the North Sea, ending any chance of the Spanish fleet rendezvousing with their army in Dunkirk or invading England. The Armada, with almost no ammunition, severe damage and injured sailors, is now faced with a journey home around the north of Scotland and Ireland. They are harried for four more days by the English before they are left alone for their 750-mile storm-lashed journey in which around 40 Spanish ships were wrecked. And almost as soon as they returned, Philip II planned another Armada. This one would be better prepared.